member Mervyn Goodell in our prayer this morning as we pray together our actions at the front. All who are thirsty, come to the waters, says the Lord. Though you have no money, come and drink with joy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Together we pray. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, of a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us continue in our prayer. <clears throat> May the venerable exercises of holy devotion Shape the hearts of your faithful, O Lord, to welcome worthily the Paschal mystery and proclaim the praises of your salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever. Amen. Amen. Is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. The Lord of hosts is with us. 
There was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is in Jerusalem at the Sheep Gate a pool, called in Hebrew Bethesda, with five porticos. In these lay a large number of ill, blind, lame, and crippled. One man was there who had been ill for thirty-eight years. When Jesus saw him lying there, and knew that he had been ill for a long time, he said to him, Do you want to be well? The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up. While I'm on my way, someone else gets down there before me. Jesus said to him, Rise, take up your mat, and walk. Immediately the man became well, took up his mat, and walked. Now that day was a Sabbath. So the Jews said to the man who was cured, It is the Sabbath, and it is not lawful for you to carry your mat. He answered them, The man who made me well told me, Take up your mat and walk. They asked him, Who is the man who told you, Take it up and walk? The man who was healed did not know who it was, for Jesus had slipped away since there was a crowd. After this, Jesus found him in the temple area and said to him, Look, you are well. Do not sin anymore, so that nothing worse may happen to you. The man went and told the Jews that Jesus was the one who had made him well. Therefore, the Jews began to persecute Jesus because he did this on a Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. The presumption, of course, in the gospel this morning is that this man, who had been ill for 38 years, was there at the well, at the pool, for 38 years, waiting to get in. I'm not sure whether that shows that he was crazy or exceptionally patient. But one way or another, he'd been waiting and waiting, and no one would help him. For 38 years, not one person apparently lifted a hand to help him get into the pool. And then after all this time, after all this patience, after all this waiting, here comes Jesus. And all the man wants him to do is to help him get into the pool and the water stirred up. Jesus doesn't do that. He gives him incredibly more. He heals him. man had just been waiting to get into the pool and Jesus gives him more than that he heals him each of us is waiting for something are we waiting patiently or do we get irritated because after all I've been waiting two days how can this man who waited 38 years show us how to be more patient more accepting, more understanding, and recognizing that when we wait well, Jesus will not give us what we want. He will give us even more than what we think we want. The man who had been ill was willing to limit what Jesus could do by just putting him in the pool. And Jesus shows him, there is no limit to what I can give you. I will give you more than what you're asking for. I will give you everything. I will heal you. May we never limit what we ask Jesus to do for us. May we never put boundaries around our requests and around what Jesus can do for us. May we instead make our prayer, Jesus, I want you to do everything you want to do for me. To accept it all in gratitude, in thanksgiving, recognizing that all you give is a pure gift of love. And may we in turn offer to others all we can give as a pure gift of love.
sisters and brothers, pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all this holy church. We offer to you, O Lord, these gifts which you yourself have bestowed. May they attest to your care as creator for this our mortal life and effect in us the healing that brings us immortality. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks humble our sinful pride contribute to the feeding of the poor and so help us imitate you in your kindness and so we glorify you with countless angels as with one voice of praise we acclaim Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread. And giving thanks, he broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save, Save us, Savior, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you yes, have set yes. us free. As we celebrate the memorial of Christ's death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Gregory our Bishop, and all your holy people. Remember, also, our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all those who have died in your mercy, Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, your mother and our mother, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, glorious martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. We pray in the words that Jesus has given us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's share a sign of that peace.
uh, spray. <clears throat> Purify our minds, O Lord, we pray, and renew them with this heavenly sacrament, that we may find help for our bodies now and likewise in times to come. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. Grant, O merciful God, that your people may remain always devoted to you and may constantly receive from your kindness whatever is for their good. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.